Hi guys and welcome back to my first official video of 2020. <sighs> this is not my first upload this year, however it's my first video I am actually filming this year because my what I got for Christmas video was filmed Boxing Day, however this is my first official video of 2020. I wanted to, you know, I was just sitting down trying to think of what video I should film to start off the new year and honestly I thought what's nothing better than to start off the new year with throwing out the trash, literally. I have my great big Sephora bag here, um, full, like overflowing with empty products and things so not everything's always beauty and stuff but it's just empty stuff I thought I would chuck in here and stuff like that so I thought it's a very appropriate video to be doing um, I apologize if the light changes it is currently quarter past six um, in the evening however with all the bushfires and everything going on the light is very very red orange also I just wanted to start off with saying happy new year everyone I hope you all had a fantastic new year we were having a great day until my stepdad had to leave and rush home because his house was under threat from a bushfire um, thankfully everything is okay his house is totally fine we're all fine um, but other than that we had a fairly decent Christmas for what well, seems like the first time in a long time but I'm actually filming with my tripod right now so that's why I'm sitting on my bed I wish I didn't have a foot on my bed so I could actually sit on the end but unfortunately that that don't, that's not going to happen because I'm not going to sit with my legs over the end but anyway I've rambled on long enough I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's just go through my rubbish so the first thing that's here these were a part of my Christmas present and I actually forgot to put these in my what I got for Christmas video um, because they were in the fridge but it's the Lindt Lindor milk and mint chocolate little balls. Lindt chocolate is my favourite chocolate ever. Every Christmas or birthday I get two small bags. My mum bought me both the same flavour, I don't really care. Um, but Lint Chocolate is my absolute favourite. These were really, really nice. I love mint. I love chocolate mint. Um, and the only thing I have noticed about these ones in particular is mint is it like oily, so peppermint oil and things like that. These ones melted so much easier than the rest, but also our temperatures were up like 40 degrees Celsius plus. Um, but these were really, really nice and obviously I've eaten both bags, um, but you only get like not very many. In each bag um, but today is the 1st of January today's actually New Year's Day when I'm filming this I didn't really celebrate New Year's because last night again I think I just said my stepdad had to leave um, and then the, the people we had over they went home um, I worked yesterday morning hadn't slept really the night before um, and then you know I worked today and it was hectic and insane but I really wanted to film this video so I can upload it on the weekend but these are really nice and I would buy them again they were just limited edition for Christmas though but um, would recommend them if you like chocolate and mint. I have a sleeve of the Coles makeup removal pads these are just the cotton rounds I didn't get a chance to go buy mine at Aldi so I had to go buy some from Coles these ones still work totally fine it's just the Aldi ones are actually stitched around the edge um, so I find they don't fall apart as easy, but with me not wearing as much makeup lately, I mean, I'm not even wearing foundation today, and I have to say, I think I like it. Like, my face looks pretty decent. I have um, my pores showing a lot around here, but I blended my concealer in with a brush and then smoothed it out with a completely dry sponge. I think my sponge should have been a little bit wet, but... I like it. I'm not actually wearing foundation and it doesn't, I'm used to the feel of foundation but it feels so much lighter but my face is covered. I emptied another bottle of the Nivea Micellar Water. This is the Skin Breathe Increase Oxygen Uptake 3 in 1 Makeup Remover for Sensitive Skin. This is my favourite Micellar Water. I absolutely love it. 100% will always repurchase. I am trying the simple one at the moment just because I felt like trying a different one. Still don't know if I like it any better or worse because it is it does work. Um, however, I still think this one I like a little bit more, but I, I can't tell. 
um, but this one I probably will end up repurchasing next time just because it's even better. Like, I don't even know how to describe it, it's just I feel like I like this one a little bit better. I also have here a packet of birthday cake flavoured M&Ms. I just tore the top of it. This was actually just attached, I don't know how it removed. Birthday cake M&Ms. I love M&Ms, they're actually one of my favourite chocolates. Like your normal like non-gourmet chocolates and they had birthday cake flavor honestly they just tasted like they had a little bit of like vanilla in them but that was about it it was just normal m m chocolates but they were nice i've had to throw out my nearly empty um benefex purple ointment this is the original ones that aldi bought out um this was the one i was like i said it's nearly empty the tube puffs itself up a lot more um, but I've had to throw this out because with our really hot weather this melts and it's just melted beyond fixing um, I tried sticking it in the fridge and stuff like that and it's not actually going back to its like thicker state so I'm gonna have to chuck this out I have kind of stopped using these as lip balms just since I've actually been using like my Carmex ow I keep hitting the bag since I started using my Carmex and things like that um, but I do always keep a purple ointment around just in case someone put in one of our bathroom drawers the drawer we never open and I found this and so I used it up this is the Garnier Fructis nourishing banana hair food conditioner I love this, it works really well, especially since I've cut my hair shorter and my hair is like a lot more just healthy in general. However, however, I, it seems like this makes my hair thicker. I don't know how to describe it, but I actually, I just dropped it, thin my hair out about once a month. Now my hairdresser told me I can do that, so I'm not doing it, you know, without her knowing. Um, but she said I can thin my hair out about once a month, um, and obviously when I go get a proper ha proper haircut, I get her to do it, you know, in, in line with all that. But I thin my hair out with thinning scissors about once a month, and now about three weeks ago I did it. Sometimes I go even longer, depends on if I can be bothered to do it or not. And, um, I then, because I thin it out before I go have a shower, so when I'm in the shower, it washes all the extra hair out. But I was using that conditioner and it literally felt like I did not thin my hair out at all. Like it made my hair feel really thick. It made my hair feel hydrated and nice and soft and really nice. But it made my hair feel like it was never thinned out. Um, so don't know what about what was that or that was about. Um, but I also really like using that on dry hair too. So when my hair was really long, if it was so dry and gross, I would actually put some in the ends of my hair, let it soak in for even two, three hours, and then wash it out. And that was really nice. Don't know if I buy it again because condition is working just fine. But um, I really like it. I used up an entire can, I suppose this is called of my Gillette Satin Care Sensitive Skin Shaving Gel. I mostly just use this under my arms because I I use hair removal cream on my legs but I don't really like it under my arms because it just goes funny with my deodorant. So um, I still shave under my arms and this is what I use it for. And this Gillette one is my fave. I also have here a very torn Lush bag of the Choco Mint bath bombs. So I bought these, those three bath bombs I actually bought on my, there goes my phone, those three bath bombs I bought on my Sydney trip with my mum and I actually found they had it at my local Lush store so with my Christmas money I went and bought some. I've bought some things online with my Christmas money so I'm going to wait till that arrives before I show you guys my like what I got with my Christmas money haul. Um, but anyway, um, the Choco Mint bath bombs are officially my favourite. I love chocolate. I love peppermint. They were so hydrating and soft and amazing. I love them. So I bought two more because I cut them in half. Uh, because our bath is fairly small, but not only that, I don't need a whole one. The small ones, I use a whole one, but the big ones, I, I always cut in half. I just get a flat blade screwdriver and whack it, like with a hammer or something, and they usually shatter in half. Um... And so that's what the way I use that, but it was so nice. They were so good and it was even nice and hydrating. I mean, even more hydrating than some of the others. Um, and it smelled amazing, went nicely with my peppermint shower gels and stuff. And um, I, I highly recommend those if you love chocolate and peppermint. They are more pepperminty than chocolate, but once you put it in the water, the cocoa butter chunks that are in them actually have cocoa in them as well, so it does bring that chocolate scent. I have a Dare Ice Coffee White Chocolate Mocha. This was surprisingly not very nice. 
it was drinkable. If someone said, hey, here's an iced coffee, just drink it, it would have been very nice. But because it was white chocolate mocha, I expected it to be a little bit nicer than what it was. So I will not buy this again. I have here a Chiba hair removal cream. This is no surprise. These are always in every empties video now. It's the Veet hair removal cream for sensitive skin. This is the one I use. I have not tried any others because this one just works for me, works very well, and I like it. So this is the one I use. Um, I use it on my legs about once a week, and I tend to get about four uses, three or four uses out of this. Um, so, you know, one lasts me about a month roughly. And, um, 100% recommended. If you don't like shaving, if shaving irritates your skin, if you're sick of possibly cutting yourself, if you don't want to buy razors, you know, if you just don't want to shave anymore, 100% rec recommend hair removal cream. My legs have been so soft and amazing. I haven't had any like hives or like, I haven't cut myself because I'm not using a razor. Um, and I haven't had like dry skin, weird bumps, you don't get razor rash because you're not using a razor and things like that. So it's great and I find my hair is now growing back even slower than what it was when I was just shaving and it removes everything and I feel like, sometimes I kind of feel like a naked mole rat, you know, those things, but it's great. I'm going to just stop recording, I've no idea where I was up to, but I have the Kohl's Sensitive Skin Makeup Wipes. Don't know where the sticker thing went. Um, but I really, really like these. These are my favourite. They are wet without being dripping wet. They remove everything. They, you know, just cleanse your face very nicely, cleanse your hands. If you just buy them to remove makeup swatches and things, I recommend these a lot. Um, and they also have a dry skin version, but they have sweet almond oil in them, and that makes my face itchy, so I don't use those ones. These Oakwood wood care polishing wipes. I think I've mentioned before, these are what we use to clean our furniture. So they work very, very nicely. Um, they, you know, they have what in it, something. They have orange oil and canuba wax. So it protects wood surfaces. Um, and you know, it just helps them hydra be hydrated, I suppose. Gives them a little bit of like a polish as well as a clean. Um, but this removes like everything. I used up my original source Zingy Lime Shower Gel. It did not take me very long to use this up. I love it. This lime one is like my summer scent and the peppermint one. So the others, the other scents they have, they're just I buy them when I want them, but the lime one and the peppermint one, they're like my sense of summer. They're what I associate summer with. So uh, yeah, love this, 100% still repurchase it, but pretty much only in the summer. Cause again, um, I would, I do use it, would use it all year round, but like I just like to associate that real zingy lime with the summer and I love it. Our TRICARE Antibacterial Passion Fruit and Guava Hand Wash is empty. This is just from Aldi, but it smells amazing. I love foaming hand washes much more than just like the gel soapy ones. This scent was amazing. Like it smelled, made the whole bathroom smell nice. And again, this was just like the scent of summer, like tropical, obviously, passion fruit and guava. Like it just, that was, that's a beautiful scent. We have one in our kitchen and our bathroom. So that's how much we liked it. I'm pretty sure we have a raspberry one at the moment, which I still like, but this one I would repurchase myself. I love it. I finally emptied my purity cleanser. So this is very similar to the, say, um, what's it called? The Clinique cleansing balm and things like that. Um, this was like, I don't know if it was the first one or what, because I don't know much about all these brands, but this is like the liquid, a liquid version of that. I have tried the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I have tried it a few times and I cannot get myself to like it. I don't know what, what, what's about it or anything, but I don't like it. I much prefer the Purity. I pretty much only would use this when I have a ton of makeup on and I need to just dissolve it all before I clean my face like with my face cleanser. So I would still use my cellar water and like a makeup wipe to remove it. I would use this to like fully dissolve my makeup and then, you know, wait 20 minutes, half an hour and actually wash my face with my cleanser. Um, so this was after things like, you know, my Halloween looks or my formal or if I have a big, like heavy glittery look, things like that. This bottle took me just over two years to go through, so um, I'm only going to buy the really little ones. I haven't repurchased it yet. I won't repurchase it till I probably need it, um, because honestly, at the moment, I'm really not wearing much makeup at all, or 
as nowhere near as often so I don't even really need it um, but I 100% would repurchase the purity one over Clinique or anything like that this one I still really like also I used to keep this around because when my face felt really really sensitive I would use this as my face cleanser I can't use it like every day it sends me way too oily um, but I can use it once or twice, like if my face just feels really irritated that day, it worked really well. Silver Montmartre metallic paint is empty, so I've been going through my paints and stuff like that, going through my stuff, figuring out what's actually empty and what isn't. Don't know why I actually had this still in my paint container, because it's been empty for a while. So I thought I'd put it in here, this was just from a like mini set of like all metallic colours that I had. This is probably the best silver I've used. I do not buy expensive paint, I buy the stuff that's like five bucks and under, but it works. It works because I just paint canvases for the hell of it. Don't know if you can see, but those three draw things, I painted them myself. They were originally like a piney colour. I painted them. My e.l.f. tone correcting powder in Cool is empty. There's a tiny little bit left, but I'm not going to be able to use that. So I actually really like this, mostly for under my eyes, because when I use it on my face, it kind of gives my face that like orange oxidized look. But I do really like this under my eyes, because it really brightens under my eyes, but like on my face it doesn't. I don't know why. Um, so I actually have another one of these, and I do use it as my under eye powder sometimes. So I would repurchase this for an under eye powder. I do quite like it. Another hair removal cream tube. I am throwing out this Aldi Pure Wick Opulent Scented Candle. I bought this ages ago because it's smells amazing and it's a three wick candle the wicks are nearly gone but there's still like two thirds of the candle it's caramel cheesecake scented I believe um, but I was always going to melt this down and like get another wick and things like that and put it in a candle where it'll actually burn again but it's all dried out and like it just no so um, I've got other candles and things I think I paid like three bucks for this so I can find other candles, caramelly ones that actually smell better than this, but this was really nice. I just bought it ages ago because it also was black, white, and rose gold matched the stuff I wanted. Um, but yeah, I'm chucking this out because I've had it for way too long. The Mitchum Women Powder Fresh Deodorant is the one, obviously, that I have empty. The Mitchum little green ones are my favourite. I've got one on my bedside table. It's nearly gone as well. I need to repurchase it because this is my favourite deodorant hands down. I had a Rexona one at my dad's I think I mentioned. Used it the entire week I was on my holiday with him and I reckon I stunk the whole time because within an hour I could still smell it. I was still getting really really sweaty but with this one I find it's like nowhere near as bad. This makes me look like I eat junk all the time but I also have a packet of the belly flops basically these are like the jelly belly jelly beans but these are the ones that you know they're the duds so two might have fused together or that one's not bright enough or that one's an odd shape or something so instead of just chucking them out they put them in a dud bag and they sell them for like two bucks at our reject shop so they still taste the same as the others but they're the duds and they sell them cheaper so um, yeah, bought one. My Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Barely Branded has finally dried up to the point where I can't use it. So I am going to repurchase this because it's like my favorite color. There are a couple of ones that once they're gone, once they're gone, they're gone. I'm not going to buy them again. But this one is my favorite. I've used this one the most out of all of them. Um, and now it's like dried up. I, I find I am missing it. Um, so I'm going to wait till they're on sale next and buy one. But these Maybelline color tattoos are awesome. I love them. I use them as a base for everything. I have the tiniest use of this left, but I have another self tanner that I'm going to use anyway. It's the same color, just a different thing. This is the Lee Tan self tanning lotion. I've had this for too long as well. Probably needs to be thrown out because last time I used it, I felt like I got a bit of a chemical burn from it. Um, but this Lee Tan self tanning stuff in the ultra dark is my favorite that I've used. Haven't used that many, but it's the one that I really like because it's a green base. So it gives me that olive tan without me looking orange. Um, but I did really like this. I'm, I have the foam to try, so I might even try that on the weekend. Um, but this doesn't even, it has some in it, but like not enough for an application. So I'm just chucking it out. I bought it on a very, very hefty discount anyway for like five bucks. So 
it's not like I spent much on it. I finally chucked in another bottle of Tresemme conditioner just to let you guys know that this is the one I am still using. There's always a little bit left in the bottom that no matter how much I bash your container, I can't get it out. This one is the smooth and silky one. I'm pretty sure it's the one I'm currently got in the shower. I don't know. Um, but Tresemme conditioners are still my favourite. I know they're bad for you. I know they're full of chemicals and nasties, but they're like the only thing that works. I also have my Neutrogena Deep Clean Foaming Cleanser. This is Amp D with a capital E. So I repurchased this because um, it's like, it lasts forever. And I like, I need to repurchase this like once a year. This didn't last me a whole year, but like... This lasts, I'm not joking, like 9-10 months because you just need the smallest amount. It foams up like anything. It actually cleanses my face, controls my oil. It does everything I want it to. I really like it. It even is nice to clean my makeup sponge with. So I have another one that's like a third gone or something in my bathroom right now. And unless something better comes along or something that piques my interest even more, I'll repurchase it again. Last year I got this Beauty Collagy Peppermint Swirl Candy Cane Peppermint Scented Bath Set. I bought it myself and I finally used the Peppermint Shower Gel. I have a sleeve of the Aldi Makeup Rounds um, 80 Pack Liquira Essentials. I use these for everything, not just removing my makeup. OGX Shea Soft and Smooth Shampoo is empty. I really like this one. I'm currently using the Cherry Blossom one. I like this one a bit more, but the Cherry Blossom one is a little bit more appropriate for summer just because we're sweating all the time and I'm at work all the time, sweating and getting hot with a hat on. Um, this one I know would be just too much. So this one probably a little bit more towards the winter, but the Cherry Blossom one's nice. Obviously it's not wrecking everything, um, but I am fading the colour in my hair a little bit because I want to get my hair done professionally. I ended up using the conditioners that come with my hair dyes. This one is still left over from nearly a year ago when I dyed my hair that purple colour. So, um, yes, yeah, so I just used that. That's the L'Oreal one and I have the Garnier Olea one. The conditioners I don't really care about, but the, like, in terms of which one's better, they all work roughly the same. But hair dyes, the Garnier Olea one is my favourite. I have to throw out my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Eyeliner in Bright Blue because this has dried up no matter how much I sharpen it. Um, no matter how much I get down to new product, I can't use it. So this I've only used like a handful of times. Honestly, eyeliner is one of those things I rarely use anymore. I have liquid eyeliners and I have a pencil liners. Um, but I went to use this in my New Year's Eve makeup look. I, you know, deleted that little bit of the footage, but it would not draw on, uh, on my eyes or my hand or anything. And no matter how much I sharpen it, it just, I cannot get like, it, it's all dried up. So I'm going to have to throw it out. I like them, but that colour I won't repurchase because honestly, I just don't use eyeliner and if I do, it's either black or white. This Garnier Miraculous Oil Leave-In Treatment. This is like a hair oil, obviously. This is my favourite one that I'd use. This one is obviously empty or it's got the slightest bit left. I had two more backups, so I just chucked this one out um, and I am using the next one. I find my hair's a little bit too short to be using a hair oil every time, but if I know I'm going to straighten my hair, I will use a hair oil, that's pretty much only when I use it, or if my hair's just very dry, like after I've been to the beach or to the pool or something. Um, but other than that, I don't really use a hair oil that much anymore, so it'll take me less time to go through it, but this one is my favourite. This isn't empty, but I have to throw it out. It's my Sukin Antioxidant Eye Cream. I've had this for way too long. I noticed the past few months I was using it, the past month or so when I was using it, um, I'd put it on under my eyes, obviously, and it would burn my cheek here. Like, it would feel like my face was burning, and my face would get quite red and blotchy right here. So, uh, it wasn't doing that beforehand. This does technically only have have a six month life on it and I had it for like two and a half years, two years so this is going out um, and I will just repurchase something else. I have a, a Glamize lash glue thing that is nearly empty slash dried up, can't use it but um, I just buy this little one now because I don't wear lashes that often so I just buy the little one. And this silver glue, glue, the silver glitter that I have, this is the Handy Anne uh, glitter eyeliners from Wish. These are what I use as my glitter when I want glitter. Uh, but this one, for some reason, um, it leaked up into the lid and it dried so the lid won't close properly and it's all dried up. So 
I tried to use this in my New Year's Eve makeup look as well. I only got a very little bit on both eyes because this colour's dried up. Uh, so I'm just I'm just going to buy another one because it's like 30 cents or something in the end once I put my discounts on it. So yeah, this isn't my absolute favourite powder so I don't really use this all that often just when I'm touching up or keeping it in my bag or something. So I've opened the other one that I've got. Um, but yeah, I can't really get much of that out onto a powder brush anymore. And my Made Sheer White Press Powder is empty. I had a backup of this which is open now. Um, I've got the slightest little amount left there but again my brush can't get it out so those two are empty and I have their backups opened in my drawer and I've been using them so that is it for those. So thank you guys so much for watching that was my empties video for or the begin the first empties video of 2020 I was just about to say 2018 I keep the past like week and a half I keep going to say 2018 even though it was 2019 and it's now 2020 it's like my brain is still like two years ago can we please get with the time um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm not going to list all these things down below, but if you guys want specific videos on things, if there's other things you think I should try, please let me know. I have done a nice big ColourPop order, so there are some things I will be trying with that. Um, but I'm going to go chuck this out now and make some dinner because I'm starting to get hungry. So thank you guys for watching. Social media sites and stuff will be down below as well as everything else. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!